Now you might find that you want to scale an entire component all at once rather than adjusting individual parameters that define its size. To accomplish that, simply come to the Transform tab and come down here to Scale Factor. Now in plan form, we'll see that we've got a default wing with an 18 foot span, two and a half foot cord. If we scale this up by two, you can see that the span and the cord and everything has all scaled up along with it. So OpenVSP is going to scale all of these parameters that define the shape of the component along with that scale factor so that they all track. So if you scale it by two, it's not going to keep the same 18 foot span and just assume that it's scaled by two. It's going to compute all that stuff on the fly so that you don't lose track of how big this thing actually is. Now in transform, if you want to go back to your original scale, you can simply click reset. Now, of course, you can select multiple components as we talked about in the interface uh, tutorials where you can scale your entire model all at once if you choose to. Now, let's say as an example that you want to do multiple scale factors in succession to try and figure out how big a model needs to be for say export. So in this case, Let's say that we want to create a 1 24th scale model of this wing in millimeters so that you can send it to a 3D printer. Well, you could get out a calculator and you could type in the scale and you could figure out what the conversion from feet to millimeters and all that stuff. Or you can just do it all right here in VSP. And because we have a smart input, we can do this either all at once or one at a time. For this demonstration, let's say that we want to go from feet down to a 24 scale. So we're going to do 1 divided by 24 and hit enter. And now we have that in a 1 24 scale and that's its size in feet. Now if we click accept, watch what happens. That scale factor resets back to 1 and now this is the accepted scale of the model. So in plan, you can see that the span is three quarters of a foot, or in this case, nine inches. So now, let's say, for example, that we want to put this into millimeters. Well, we're still in feet. So what we need to do is we can say, let's multiply it by 12 inches and 25.4 millimeters per inch, or you can just multiply it by 304.8. And now you have this wing built up in millimeters, 228.6 millimeter span, in units that you can directly export to a 3D printer and you don't have to go and fuss with the scaling inside your 3D printing software. It's already good to go. So scaling is very useful in creating both scale models of your aircraft, changing in between length units, say for export or import, and for resizing things on the fly as a whole.